And I, I think that, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if me and Trump won just the normal gay guy vote oh, because, sure. again, they just wanted to be left the hell alone. And now you have all this crazy stuff on top of it. Yeah, look, if they did want to just be left alone, I'm sure one of the ways they would have preferred to be left alone is to not start some sort of national conversation about what the hell he means by the normal gay guys. Which which ones are the normal ones, JD? And which ones are the not normal ones? And what makes them not normal? I would love to hear more about what he thinks about different subcategories of gay men in America. Because he's definitely got thoughts, and he apparently has dwelled so much in his own mind about what he thinks about the gay community that he doesn't even feel the need to define this stuff. He just says it as if all of us are obsessed about this stuff the same way that he is. But anyway, um, what he probably means is normal gay guys versus those damn abnormal trans people. And in that area, JD has even more thought. Again, like so many on the right, this is a thing he spends a lot of his free time thinking about quite deeply. Here he is on Joe Rogan talking about trans people. If you are a you know middle class or upper middle class white parent, and the only thing that you care about is whether your child goes into Harvard or Yale, like obviously that pathway has become a lot harder for a lot of upper middle class kids. But the one way that those people can participate in the DEI bureaucracy in this country is to be trans. Okay, so look, we can have a debate amongst ourselves about two possible explanations for the sheer lunacy that you just heard. Is JD Vance so stupid and rot brained that he believes any of what he just said? Or does he believe that you are and he is viciously and callously lying to you because he thinks that you're a dupe, a mark? And if he can get you to believe that parents are having conversations around the dinner table about whether they should trans young Billy so that they can get into Princeton or something, that you'll vote for him. None of that is a thing. None of it about people becoming trans so they can get into college is a thing. None of the, oh man, nobody has it harder than middle upper class white people because all those damn minorities took all your spots that are yours, you're entitled to them in the Ivy Leagues. All of that is utterly insane. And while on Tuesday, the most important thing to me is Donald Trump not becoming president, Within sight of that is how important it is that he not become vice president, especially considering that Donald Trump looks like he could drop at any second. So, Sharon, I'm curious what you think about his theory about admittance to you know uh, higher education. It's uh, stupid, and he it's the latter. Okay, he he believes that the people he is speaking to who will consume it after consuming a steady diet of hate, division, and fast food will actually believe <laughs> it's a thing. There are good people who actually believe their child's scholarships are being taken by trans people. And it's just not happening. He's Mm -hmm. actually just behaving in his normal devilish fashion. He doesn't believe any of what he's saying. Doesn't matter. Don't fact check him either. Remember, he told them that during the debate. Better not fact check him. Yeah, I, again, like, Has he radicalized himself over the past few years into thinking that any of that is true? Does he think that people like that it has nothing to do with who you are and wanting to express that and be seen and accepted? It's all convenient. It's all part of a plot, like how he, you know, grew a beard to hide his face and all that, and how he is gradually a little bit of eyeliner at a time transitioning into Zsa Zsa Gabor. Like, does he think that everybody does stuff like this? I don't think so. I think that's deeply offensive, both to normal gay men and also the abnormal ones. You freak. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.